Wednesday students, join me as I learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Jarel and welcome to our class. Mom Popoy sells popcorn in two different containers. One in a rectangular prism and the other in a rectangular pyramid. If you buy popcorn in three rectangular pyramid containers, will you get the same quantity of popcorn if you buy only one in a rectangular prism container? For today's session, we will talk about the volume of cylinders, pyramids, cones, and spheres. Are you ready students? Come on and let us begin our number 4 journey! As we learn about volume, we will answer these two questions. First, what are solid figures? Second, what are the things to remember in finding the volume of cylinders, pyramids, cones, and spheres? Let's recall solid figures. Solid figures are three-dimensional objects that consist of length, width, and height. Here are some examples of solid figures. This is a cylinder. A cylinder has two equal circular bases that are parallel. This is a pyramid. A pyramid is a figure with a base that is polygon and triangular sides. This is a cone. A cone has a circular base connected to a vertex. This is a sphere. A sphere is a figure with a curved surface in which all points on the surface are equal distance from the center. One property of three-dimensional objects like cylinders, pyramids, cones, and spheres is volume. Volume is the number of cubic units inside a three-dimensional figure. It is measured in cubic units. Now, let's learn the formulas used in finding the volume of cylinders, spheres, pyramids, and cones. Let's start by finding the volume of a cylinder. The volume of a cylinder is given by the product of the area of its circular base and its height. That is, volume of cylinder is equal to area of the circle times height equals pi r squared times h. Thus, volume of cylinder is equal to pi r squared times height. Let's try this example. If a cylindrical container has a height of 8 cm and a radius of 3 cm, what quantity of ice cream can it contain? The volume of the cylindrical container is equal to the quantity of the ice cream that can fill it. The volume of the cylinder is equal to pi r squared times height. Let's substitute. Pi equals 3.14. Radius equals 3 centimeters and height equals 8 centimeters. Let's simplify. 3.14 times 9 centimeters squared times 8 centimeters. Thus, the container can hold 226.08 cubic centimeters ice cream. How about the volume of a pyramid? The volume of a pyramid is equal to one-third of the product of the area of the base and the height. That is, volume of pyramid is equal to one-third times the product of area of the base times height. Let's try this example. If the size of the base of a rectangular pyramid is 4 units and 3 units, and the height is 5 units, then what is the volume? The volume of rectangular pyramid is equal to 1 third times the product of the area of rectangular prism times height, equals 1 third times the product of length times width times height. Let's substitute. That is equal to one third times the product of four units times three units and then times five units. 
Let's simplify. One third times twelve square units. Times 5 units equals 1 third times 60 cubic units. Therefore, the volume of the rectangular pyramid is 20 cubic units. How about the volume of a cone? The volume of a cone is equal to one-third of the product of the area of its circular base and its height. That is, volume of a cone is equal to one-third times the product of area of the circular base times height or volume of the cone is equal to one-third times the product of pi r squared times height. Let's try this example. If a cone with a 3 cm radius of circular base and a height of 8 cm is used to contain ice cream, what quantity of ice cream can it hold? The volume of a cone is equal to 1 third times the product of pi r squared times height. Let's substitute. That is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times the radius 3 centimeters raised to the second power and height 8 centimeters. Let's simplify. Thus, the container can hold 75.36 cubic centimeters ice cream. How about the volume of a sphere? If a sphere is inscribed in a cylinder, the height of the cylinder is equal to the diameter of the sphere. The volume of the sphere is four-thirds the product of the area of the circular base of the cylinder and its height. That is, Volume of the sphere is equal to 4 thirds times pi r cubed. Let's try this example. If a spherical water tank has a radius of 2 meters, what volume of water can it store? The volume of a sphere is equal to 4 thirds times the product of pi r cubed. Let's simplify. 4 thirds times the value of pi, which is 3.14, times radius 2 meters raised to the third power. Let's simplify. Thus, the volume of the spherical tank is approximately 33.49 cubic meters. Now that we know how to find the volume of the different solid figures, let's try to answer these questions. Game? Let's go! What is the volume of a cylindrical container with a radius 4.5 cm and height of 9 cm? The formula for the volume of the cylinder is volume of the cylinder is equal to pi r squared times height. Let's substitute. Value of pi is 3.14 times the value of radius 4.5 centimeters raised to the power of 2 times the value of height which is 9 centimeters. The answer is 3.14. The volume of the cylindrical container is approximately 
572.27 cubic centimeters. What is the volume of a cone with radius 12 centimeters and height of 25 centimeters? The formula for the volume of the cone is 1 third times the product of pi r squared times height. Let's substitute. Equals 1 third times the value of pi which is 3.14 times the value of radius 12 centimeters raised to the second power times the value of height 25 centimeters. Let's simplify. That is 1 third times 3.14 times 144 centimeters squared times 25 centimeters. The answer is 3,774.5 the, the, the volume of a cone is 3,768 cubic centimeters. A tent has a base with a length of 8 meters and width of 6 meters. If the tent is 3 meters high, what is the volume of the tent? The formula for the volume of the rectangular pyramid is 1 third times the product of length times width times height. Let's substitute. 1 third times length which is 8 meters times width 6 meters times height 3 meters the answer is therefore the volume of the tent is 48 cubic meters a spherical balloon is inflated until it reaches a diameter of 50 centimeters. How much air is inside the balloon? The formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds times the product of pi r cube. Let's substitute. That is equal to 4 thirds times the value of pi 3.14 times radius 25 centimeters raised to third power. The answer is 3.14. The amount of air inside the balloon is approximately 65,000 416.67 cubic centimeters. You did great, students! Now, let's go back to our two questions earlier. Solid figures are three-dimensional objects that consist of length, width, and height. The volume of a cylinder is equal to the product of the area of its circular base and its height. Meanwhile, the volume of a cone is equal to one-third of the product of the area of its circular base and its height. If a sphere is inscribed in a cylinder, the height of the cylinder is equal to the diameter of the sphere. The volume of the sphere is four-thirds the product of the area of the circular base of the cylinder and its height. You're fantastic! I hope you learned a lot about volume today. If you did, Click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Of course, to experience magical learning at home, check out Vival's Happy Homeschool program. Just click the link in the description to learn more. Again, this is Teacher Jurel and see you on our next Numberful Wednesday.